Asel, did you empty your pockets before coming in? Yes. Ah! <sighs> <sighs> oh. Unreal characters, surreal issues, romantic crimes, heavy punishment, unrealistic beauty to full-blown assault, endless. In this court, we will prosecute all webcomic crimes. Enter Judge Cell, Judge Tiffany, and Judge Tyler in the Reader's Court. Case number 003, divorce or small penis, Navier versus Sovieshu and Rashta. It's been brought to our attention by many witnesses in the Eastern Empire that there are many crimes Rashta has committed while feigning innocence as Sovieshu verbally abused her. A fraud in fact! Oh my God. Today's charges start off with forgery, embezzlement, attempted defamation, looking like Sid the Sloth, resembling a broken lamp, being built like a pick me girl. Acel, this is just a list of insults. But they're all technically crimes. Right. You can't charge somebody for looking like chlamydia. Oh my God. We've got two people to charge. This list is way too long. We don't get paid enough for this. You look like you don't get paid at all. You better be joking. Next on the docket, money laundering and attempted defamation. According to the former empress of the Eastern Empire, Navier, <laughs> somebody get this bitch a muzzle because I'm going to smack the fuck out of her if she keeps interrupting me. I'm going to fuck. Navier has claimed she not only lied straight to everyone's faces about her love for Sylvia Shu, but even sabotaged Navier's friends and tried to kill her bird. After running a full investigation, we've discovered tracks of pig feces at most of the crime scenes, and she's the only one who's ever slept with pigs. Not to mention, the pigs are very hostile. We had a hard time. Excuse me, but I do not look like Sid. Really? Sylvia, you don't think we forgot about you either. Read his charges, Tiffany. What? I mean, Tiffany. Gaslighting, mansplaining, theft, and erectile dysfunction? Yeah, that's right. We know all about your little problem. Weak pee pee. <laughs> Seriously, Sovia Shu was seeing other women during their marriage. He committed infidelity. Jeez, and his ego is bigger than Apollo. We sentenced you not only to relationship counseling, but also intensive therapy and a fine of $20,000. And a penis enlarger. Navier told us about how you were in bed. Ha! Weak pee pee. <laughs> Rashta, we sentence you to therapy as well. You will also be required to wear a kick me sign on your back because you can't seem to wipe that grin off your dumb little face every time you do something malicious. I would even suggest adding on into it. I would suggest putting Rashta back on a poor farm, what she so desperately wanted to escape. I can't go back to the farm. Please, I'll, I'll do anything. Oh, all of a sudden it's we don't have a budget. Now it's I'll do anything, huh? Yes, I was just kidding. If that Navier didn't. Bitch! <gasps> oh my god, the girls are fighting. Security! Next up, destruction of property, mansplaining, and manipulation. Sylvia Shu instigated and tried to cause jealousy in Navier, even after divorcing her and trying to make a fool out of her when she announced a remarriage. Ugh, so illogical. It's like he wants women at his feet. Sylvia Shu, answer for your crimes. <laughs> answer me! Navier requests reparations for the amount of emotional damage caused by the gossip spread around the castle. 300 grand should suffice, and I say we order every ugly ass dress trash to ever wore to be burned. <gasps> Bitch! Oh my god, not again. Security! With the fines you owe both empires, you and Sylvia Shu will forever be in debt. I hope it was worth it. You can smirk in that corner all you like, but you'll always face the truth. Last but not least, due to all the defamation on co-partners and royalty, we're stripping you of your title. What? Not only that, you're sentenced to being cursed out by me for nine minutes. You s <laughs> ba -la 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 -la. If you enjoyed this episode of The Reader's Court, please check out the Webtoon series linked in the description. And if you have any series recommendations or favorite moments from this video, comment them down below and don't forget to share and subscribe.